save my day. I could cry right now. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I here make scrunchies and bows. I've been doing so for nine years now. And today I'm going to be getting ready for a big market I have on the weekend. I have the Italian Festa Move North market. There's about 60 of us, like um, market stalls. There's, and there's about 100 food stalls. So I don't know how it's gonna go. It could go either way. I know when I went it, back in 2019, I did okay, like I did well for back then, but yeah, it's just gonna be interesting to see how we do, yeah, this weekend. Specifically, I want to get done like the colors, so red, green, and white, and maybe even do tri-color scrunchies. We'll see how we go. The time it is Tuesday, and really the only things I need to get done this week is I really do need to look at the Etsy website. I haven't done that yet, but um. I do have to look at that at some point this week. And I also need to just do a massive restock. I want to get my XL scrunchie board done. It's at the moment I haven't been able to bring it to markets because I don't have enough XL scrunchies to put on it. So I want to get a heap of XL scrunchies made and just everything else. Regular scrunchies, need bows, need minis, need everything. I'm super low on everything except hair claws. Just because I don't make the hair claws, it's much easier for me to keep them in stock. But I also need to get a few orders out today. I think I've got five orders sitting there from the weekend. So I'd like to just quickly run through all those and get them all packaged up. It shouldn't take me too long. Although it did take me a really long time the other day uh, for some reason to package up. I think I had 28 orders and it took me like the whole day to package them for some reason. Anyway. I'm going to go grab everything, package them, and then we'll get started on making the actual scrunchies.
I have a few different piles. This pile here is the fabrics out of this wall. The fabrics I have in stock on my website. So I don't really want to use too much out of here. So I've just really picked out ones that I have more of. These are from just behind here. The extra ones as well. <sighs> I got this fabric sent to me by Fabric by Missy Rose. She actually designed it for me. I wanted something that was pink and like had butterflies and stuff and flowers. So I have decided that with the thin elastic scrunchies, I'm probably still going to make them how I do normally. I think I'm just going to keep the um, online stuff separate because online I'm doing the burrito method for the thin elastic so I can tell the difference straight away um, really easily and if someone else was packaging orders they'll be able to tell. But with these ones, I mean... Yeah, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to be doing the stall anyway. And the other thing is with the thread colour, I don't think I'm going to do thread colours for the market stock. It's just, it's not feasible. It's going to take way too long. It took me a whole day just to do thread colours for um, like a thousand scrunchies. It was, it just took way too long. It really did. It took way, way too long. Um, so yeah, I'll keep it for online only and maybe some select colours. Like red is really hard to colour match. Probably like the plain satin colours I'll do. But anything else, you, like I mean you can't tell, especially with cotton. Satin, fair enough, but yeah, cottons and stuff. Anyway, continuing on.
Oh my goodness, it is so bright this morning. I posted a reel last night, well, real TikTok, uh, short, whatever you want to call it. Let's go have a look at how many views it got <laughs> on each platform. Okay, so on YouTube, it got 2.2 thousand, um, so 2,200. That's, that's pretty good for YouTube. On Instagram reels, 5,600. It's not that great for Instagram, but currently my Instagram is like having a moment because I haven't been posting and everything's getting like it's really hard to see yeah on Facebook I got like 70 views I only just learned that you can post your Instagram reels to Facebook so yeah that's I guess pretty average but tick -a tock let's go have a look three views how how is that even possible my last okay so my last four videos one was 1200 1700 16 and 2000 how is that possible that it's got three views and I use tags? Actually, one of these videos that I posted, I didn't even use tags and it got like one of the most viewed. It's just me cutting fabric. I didn't even use any sort of tags or nothing and it got like 1600 views. Ah, I don't know. TikTok confuses me. I'm much better at growing Instagram and I'm going to try and grow YouTube. Anyway, I really need to wash my hair but it's yeah i'm not gonna worry right now today i'm going to work on getting everything flipped and elasticated and hopefully start sewing them up before i do that look i got another water bottle it's a liar though and <laughs> they didn't want to give me a refund and there he says it's 900 mils it's not 700 mils we measured it and then also i have no idea what this even says it had English photos on the listing and they sent me, I don't even know what language this is, but oh well, I'm still using it. Also, actually, I don't really like it though because it's got like a really small, um, one of those things. What The one I purchased for Reese has like one of these ones, really big. I like the big ones. You can gulp more water with it. And plus, it's a little bit bigger than this. It is the 900 mil, whereas this one is a fake 900 mil. Um, yeah. I like how it has this, though. It's going to be 25 today, 28 tomorrow, 26 Friday. It's going to be 30 degrees on Saturday. I have the trailer market on Saturday, but it's also meant to rain and storm. Sunday is meant to be 22, which seems comfortable, but it's meant to be really cloudy. I don't know. We'll see. These nails are annoying me so much. I just peeled one off. You're not meant to. You're meant to like put in acetone or something. Acetone and soak them. But they're annoying me because like they're grippy. They're not, they're not meant to be on my fingers. Yeah, I was thinking maybe I could do this every month for when I do the new release and um, do all the new uh, like thank you cards and stickers. I could have like a matching nail set. I don't think so. I just don't think so. I just, I'm not someone that can have stuff on their nails. Even though it's painted. I think it's like SNS or something. I don't even know. But it's like, it's hard and it's, and it's grippy and it's annoying me. And plus my nails grow out so quick. Like look how far my nails have already grown out. It's been like a week. Has it been a week? Yeah, I think it's been a week. It'll be a week tomorrow. And my fingernails have already grown out heaps. I just want them off. I finished flipping everything. I'm going to start with the minis. I have heap here and I have heaps that are already cut into the right length. I also have a heap of thin elastic scrunchies. I need to do all of these. I think I might cut everything. So currently I have all my thins and my wide elastic like in the full length. I usually cut them in half. Uh, so I might cut them everything 
and then cut a heap of elastic and then get my bean bag and just sit back and, uh, and thread because yeah it's easier on my back than sitting like up here it's what i think the plan is currently morning sort of it's kind of like midday at this point i need to do my youtube video so i'm gonna get started on that but i thought i'd show you what i did this morning what i did this morning isn't my usual things that i usually do 
at a meeting with like an ad agency. I have had one in the past, which I think like the ad agency might be a bit too like advanced, I guess, for me personally, because like I make, like I do make a bit of money on my Shopify, but like I don't make, you know, $500,000 or like even 200000 100 yeah, I don't make that much on my Shopify website alone. So like, I feel like that ad agency that I was looking at a few months ago probably isn't the right fit for me because they wanted $3,000 a month just to do the ads. Um, and then you have to pay for ads on top of that. This ad agency seems to be way better. And he even gave me all this free advice about like things I can do to, you know, boost myself and like get more sales. And, like it was free, like he had no I had no obligation to choose to go with them um and he's just getting me a quote now like I know ballpark figure I think it's around a thousand dollars for the month to pay them to do all the ads for me and then I just pay like a daily advertising whatever set amount that I wanted to do so I'm gonna trial them I think for three months and then once I yeah get some statistics up I'll let you guys know if I like them and obviously name them and stuff too but until then I won't just in case it doesn't go well I don't want to like you know bash anyone's business <laughs> yeah we'll we'll see how we go um, I am pretty excited to try it out because at the moment I've only been organic this whole time like I've done boosted posts here and there like rarely like maybe like once a year I probably spent like $50 per year on boosted stuff like it's barely it's nothing and apparently there's like free ads I can be doing for Google, which I didn't know about. I did try and do the Google ads, I think this time last year, but I had to put in, I think my home address or something and I'm not doing that. So I think there is a way around that or maybe like the phone number. Maybe I could just put the ad agency's phone number, I don't know, because I'm not putting my phone number up either. I had one person once call me on my personal number and I was so like they're probably watching actually because they're a follower <laughs> but I was like whoa how did you even get this because apparently it came through so I'm not going to tell you how they found it but um yeah it was just like kind of a glitch I guess in the system and they we managed to get my number and just call me I just wanted to know what was up with my with their order or something but yeah it was just crazy <laughs> I was like how did you even get this number I was stressing no, it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, I'm more worried about, I'm not worried about like the genuine customers. I'm more worried about like the weirdos or the people that would spam me and harass me, especially becoming bigger on YouTube and Instagram. It's not just about being in business anymore. It's also, I'm um, now considered, you know, a con content creator, a bit of an influencer as well. So I've got to be really careful for my safety. Um, and well, I mean, I've been careful for my safety since day dot. Like I've been very, <laughs> very careful about what I post and like never photos of like the house and, you know, um, or like where I live exactly. Even like putting a PO box straight away, even when I was, especially when I was 15, I didn't want some like guy or random person getting my address and coming to my house, um, being 15 years old. And I certainly don't want it now, being 24 years old. <laughs> Went on a little bit of a tangent there. Anyway, I also received my parcel, which I was really excited about. I didn't think I'd receive it uh, until next week because it said that I was expected to receive it between, I think, the 18th and 21st of February. Currently, it's the 9th. So I was like, oh my God, it's not even going to arrive until like way after the market. When I ordered it, I did see those dates. And what in my brain, in my little brain, I was like, ha oh, that's the date the market is. That's fine. That will arrive in plenty of time. Easy done. No. The market is this week, Kayla. Not next week. I think I ordered it one week ago exactly. I think I ordered it last Thursday. So, or even Friday. Yeah, so it's done well getting from, like, China, I guess. I don't know where they ship from. Here. But I pretty much just got a heap of this ivory stuff. I'm going to put it on my gazebo. So I'm going to, like, wrap it around the legs and stuff and then I got these so they're actually pretty good quality I was expecting like really cheap real cheap stuff because I think they're five dollars each um 
But hey, they're really nice. Yeah, they, they look almost real, especially the roses. They want people to like do up their stalls to be in theme with the festival, which is obviously Italian. Oh, and I also did these. So I just went and uh, I really need a name for this. Like I put the fabric underneath. Yeah, I did that on all of these minis while I was doing other things. So that's done. Just need to sew the, like, sew across them. So that's pretty much it for now. I will jump back on hopefully later. Yeah, sewing the elastic of the scrunchies. But right now I need to do my YouTube video. I've also got a massive, massive headache. I'm dealing with this headache for a few days now. So that's fun. Um, that's right, I'm going to the doctors again tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see if we can get back on the, the medication that took it away last time. I'll talk to you guys soon. So it is Friday afternoon. I have finished the bows. I made, I don't know how many I made. I'll count them for you. So before the end of the vlog, I'm just sewing up all the elastic with scrunchies. My goal was to at least have all the elastic sewn before I pack my car. Because I do have trail in tomorrow, which probably won't be that great. Usually in trail in during the summer months, I only make probably two, three hundred dollars maybe. We'll see how we go. Yeah, I'm not expecting a good day tomorrow even though it is meant to be good weather and then as for Sunday that's sort of when I am expecting I still have like mild expectations but I am expecting like to sell at least a few so I want to have them all made before Sunday so I'm going to sew the elastic and tomorrow like if I have time I'll try and sew a few scrunchies up and bring them to the market tomorrow I will probably try and do at least probably 30 just so I have a little bit of Variation for the board because considering I haven't done any market restock for 18th, I think. No, 20th, 23rd, 20th, 21st, I don't know, around that area in December. I haven't done any market restock at all and I've done probably 
five markets in STEM. I'm running on bare minimum right now. So I probably should bring a couple of the new stuff. I will bring the bows definitely tomorrow and yeah, I'll need to restock the hair claws for tomorrow as well. See how we go for time tonight. Like it is still early. It's five o'clock. That's still early. I'll bring all these type of scrunchies, the tube scrunchies with me tomorrow and I'll fold them all underneath and over the top. So then that will be done and then I can just get home tomorrow tomorrow afternoon and sew all the labels in and then couple the threads and we should be all sweet. I'm feeling pretty confident that we'll get it all done. Oh, I did also do some things. I saw on another scrunchie page that they did this. I had some photos here. But yeah, it's like a little flat lay of what I've got in stock. Uh, so I did like the hair claws, I did the mini scrunchies, the petite scrunchies, the regular scrunchies and the XL scrunchies. It's like a little catalog, I guess. I think it'll help me for wholesale but also just in general. So I'll post them and people might go through and see the scrunchies and be like, oh, I really like, you know, the Chelsea one. I'm going to go search that on the website and buy it. Well, that's what I'm hoping for anyway. Anyway, I'm going to get back to it. So I'm pretty much done um, with what stuff I'll do tonight. Um, I've made 35 regulars, 17 or 18 of the big ones, and 30 minis, or 25. I can't remember. I just counted them. Um, and I also made everything in this box here. I just need to cut the threads, but I'll do that tomorrow. I still have this tub to go. These ones have been folded under, and I'm going to bring all those tomorrow to do at the market. But yeah, okay, I'm signing off tonight. Bye. Hey guys, I'm back from the market. So it was pretty quiet today, as expected. We did 350, which is still good. But um, yeah, there wasn't many people there. There was also two other scrunchie and hair claw stalls, and there was only 25 stalls there. So yeah, <laughs> but luckily people do come to the market just to see me. There's usually like the newer customers that don't really shop with me I guess because I'm really high, priced high compared to people that you know aren't paying taxes or GST <laughs> but anyway I did finish putting all of these like underneath with help from Hannah um she was next to me so we just sat down and like it was pretty yeah it was really quiet and it got really hot so yeah we just did all that so now I'm going to sew all of those and sew up all the XL scrunchies as well I'm hoping I'm going to have enough for the board. We'll see. If not, I can just take out um, the pegs, like the probably the bottom six and maybe the top four, I think. I'm lucky I did make a heap of those XLs though, last night because that's pretty much everything that's sold today. It was really just XL scrunchies. I sold a couple of hair claws, not many. Still need to restock all the hair claws still. Oh, cut apart all the, um, all the scrunchies once they're sewn because that took me like, <laughs> it took me two hours to start this morning because... I clipped all the bows this morning, so I think there was almost 100 bows, and then I also cut all the scrunchies, sewed up last night, and then brought with me, so yeah, that did take a little while. I'm hoping to bring you guys tomorrow. It looks to be really big. There's 100 food stalls, 60 market stalls, and someone did tell me today, they've heard rumours that they're expecting upwards of 20,000 people, so we'll see, because that, that's going to be a lot if there is actually 20,000 people coming through. Because at the moment, the actual um, group, like the event on Facebook, doesn't have that many. Yeah, there's like only 1,000 people interested on Facebook. Just know about it from word of mouth and they probably wouldn't go onto the event and click it. So let's hope. And I should have product, product exclusivity tomorrow as well because I don't think I've seen any other hair accessory names on the list I got sent. I mean, I think there's two different market stall areas, so I don't know. Might be some other ones on there, maybe. I'm going to start sewing. I've already got black thread in, so I might as well pick out all the black ones. 
but I should have enough stock, hopefully. I think so. I've like got heaps of stock and I'm thinking maybe of even bringing the three tables because I'm thinking about bringing my deluxe hair claws. I don't know because I had a few questions about them today, but they're so expensive. I have them up online for $16, I think, $15.99. So I'd probably be okay to sell them for $15 at the markets or I could probably keep them at 16 and do two for 30 because yeah, they are just so expensive to get in. So there's not really much I can do about it. I have to price them accurately. Oh, I guess before I start though, I noticed that a lot of the ones in, maybe it wasn't this bag, but there's a bag that I was looking at and they were really lopsided, <laughs> a lot of my labels. I get my labels from Alibaba. Shanghai Green Goods Co. But the last order I did, I did 10,000 labels because I was like, oh, that will last me a little while. Because <laughs> yeah, I used all my 5,000 in already from my other one that I bought. So I thought I'd do 10,000. It's a good way to like keep track of how many I'm making, I guess, even though I don't really do them. I don't put the labels in the minis and I make a lot of minis. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. Let's just do it. Okay, so these are the ones I'm going to do uh, like the proper colours with. These ones are just for black that I missed, but yeah, oh, I've also got brown behind there. Just because they're such a bright sort of colour and yeah, they really need uh, their own. Both tubs are all completely done, all scrunchied out. Um, <laughs> yeah. So now I need to go repack the car and sort out all these scrunchies into boxes. I'm all done, I think. I think I've remembered everything. I hope I remembered everything. Um, I've restocked the XL claws. I've brought some of my deluxe claws. I have 
two big boxes of XLs plus a, another half. I have, yeah, two claw boxes, which is usual, but then I also have another, like, mini one. Oh, and I also have another mini tub for the other board that I'm bringing. I'm just going to have a really hard time fitting all this in the car because I still have to fit my mum in too. And unfortunately, I cannot Tetris her. She has to be in the front. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired, don't worry. That was a joke. Okay. I was thinking about bringing some of the birthday scrunchies too, but anyway, I'm gonna go try and fit this on the car. I won't film it though, because I think there's only five minutes left on this camera. Oh yeah, I'm bringing the camera tomorrow too. I need to go charge charge this thing. Yeah. So I reckon I I'm gonna jump off now, go put this other battery on charge and find a memory card that yeah has some memory on it. Good morning. Alright, so I'm all ready to go. Wearing this dress. Um, and I also have a really cute cardigan, but I'll show you guys that when I'm actually at the market. Yeah, I'm going to bring you guys. I've got both batteries charged. I have a new memory card in. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. I'm about to head off and we will see how the day goes. I'm a bit nervous, I think. I don't know. I really do hope it is a good day. It'd be awesome if, it, if um, the rumors were true and there was like thousands and thousands of people to come through. That rhymed. Anyway, I'm going to go. I'll see you guys there. Thank you. 
Also, I forgot to mention, uh, it's currently like spitting and raining <laughs> and that sucks, but we'll see. Like, look at the weather. It was meant to be 20 degrees today. I'm in a dress. Rude.
These are so pretty. I just don't know how to display them yet. Okay, so it's just past 10 o'clock and it's already packed. There's so many people here. What are you doing? <laughs> that will come out. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I've been many places <laughs> since the market. Okay, well I guess let's start off with the bad things and then I'll get into good stuff. So the worst part of the thing that's happened, to, happened today was at 12 o'clock with four hours to go or even five hours, my phone stopped working because there was so many people there that the my service carrier Optus just stopped working and nothing was loading. It was like um, I don't know if you've been to like a concert or festival, but like usually if you go to them, you can't like load anything, even if it says you got full bars, you got full coverage. So my Square stopped working. So my F Plus terminal, I was stressing. I had a mini meltdown. So apologies if anyone saw that, but I was full on nearly crying. But we figured it out. My my mum was obviously there. Um, she came to help me in the morning. My dad was there. He came to pick up my mum to take her back home. And my brother and his girlfriend came. And I'm so glad my brother came because he, the blessed thing, um, please like just put reacts in the 
comments for him because he saved my day. He was just like, here, Tay, have my phone because he's the Telstra different service operator and they were fine there. So yeah, he let me have his phone. Yeah, the rest of the festival, he left, went home, had a nap, and I just had to go drive his phone out to him after the market. But yeah, so I used his phone for probably a good four hours and like nonstop, I was like using card like so much. But yeah, it still took like 20 minutes just to download the Square app on his phone because it was just not working. After that little meltdown, everything else went pretty smoothly. There was a little, like there was a lot of wind, but where I was and where Hannah was, like we were really protected. We were really next to um, the trees, the houses that were there. If we were on the other side, we would have been nearly blown away, I think, but we were super, we were sweet where we were. There was also a little bit of rain, which was a little bit annoying, um, but we managed managed that okay. Okay, so that's all the bad stuff. So there really wasn't really meant much bad stuff. There wasn't much that went wrong besides the terminal thing. I've never had that happen before with my phone. I guess I've never been to a market this big before. They said 20,000 people. I'm going to say, yeah, it probably was. I read a lot of comments saying people were waiting 45 minutes to go 3Ks um, on the road coming into it. My dad and brother and everyone that I knew didn't have too much trouble, but apparently there's a lot of other people that had lots of trouble getting actually to Merbu. But yeah, it was massive. There was just so, so many people at 10 o'clock, because the mass started at 10 o'clock, but the stalls weren't meant to open till 11, right? But at 10 o'clock, there was, it was packed already. It was just packed already. And my other friend, Courtney, she didn't even have all like cupcakes out yet. She was like, doing this and I'm like I let mum try and run my stall she probably made like hundred dollars in the first 15 minutes but I was just helping Courtney um yeah trying to get her food and stuff trying to get her set up for the day but yeah it was just it was crazy it was insane so the total I'm gonna I won't say the actual total I don't know if people get mad at me for saying the actual total or not but I will just say it was almost double my best market. I could cry right now. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah, lost four words. It was, it was so good. There was just people buying so much and I'm so blessed and so thankful for everyone that came. Oh my God. Oh, like, I just can't even believe it. This amount of support that people, yeah, give me makes me so emotional. <laughs> But yeah, oh, so thank you so much. There was, yeah, so many of you that come up today. It was just, yeah, it was like wearing my scrunchies or, you know, saying they're my favorite scrunchies ever. And like, wouldn't go back to any normal scrunchie and just, yeah, made my day. And I sold, um, yeah, it's the stuff I sold. I sold so many XLs. I sold half the board on the XLs. I sold um, heaps of normal size scrunchies in thin and wide. I sold a heap of those deluxe claws. I want to say a heap, probably not a heap. I probably sold three of the $16 ones and um, almost all of the XLs and the other, the $12 ones I had. Then I sold another full box of hair claws. Um, I sold a heap of bows and mini scrunchies. I'm going to have to do another restock for minis. I'm going to be so busy this week doing restocks because I got three markets this weekend and two of them on the same day, so I have to have double stock. It's been crazy. Yeah, I, I'm just lost for words. Thank you so much, anyone that came out and supported us today. Um, I'm gonna jump off now. I'm gonna see you guys, yeah, next time, I suppose. Hope you guys enjoyed the footage that I got at the market. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye. Mm -hmm.